Hello everyone, my name is Ravi and I work at the Royal Pharmaceutical Society. I'm back again with one of my daily update videos providing you with the latest information for pharmacy on the COVID-19 pandemic and the work the Royal Pharmaceutical Society are doing on behalf of the profession. The key updates from me, following the Prime Minister's announcement yesterday to the public around staying at home, new information was published by the government regarding the list of places that will remain open during this next approach. Pharmacies are included in the list of settings that will remain open, highlighting once again the valuable and critical role that community pharmacy play to supporting safe and effective care to their local communities. Secondly, the Secretary of State Matt Hancock was updating the House of Commons this afternoon on COVID-19 and specifically mentioned that pharmacists are critical key NHS workers. Thirdly, we have raised further concerns to the government today around the supply and quality of personal protective equipment, i.e. PPE, and that frontline pharmacy staff need to be able to access this appropriately, but also need to be able to access COVID-19 testing where appropriate and where needed as an absolute priority. We have further meetings with NHS senior colleagues tomorrow to gain a up progress update on the RPS policy asks. And lastly, we've sent a letter to all supermarkets to tell them that pharmacists and their support teams are key critical NHS workers and therefore they should be offered dedicated priority shopping hours during the COVID-19 pandemic. This information will be up on our website later today including a letter for you to use if you need to. There's been further updates to the Royal Pharmaceutical Society's hub page on COVID-19. This includes a new toolkit for responsible pharmacists who are looking to return to practice or gaining temporary registration. There's new information around staying at home, social distancing and shielding of vulnerable patient groups. Further advice on how to deal with people you come into contact through your pharmacies that may be expressing COVID-19 symptoms. And also we're working to gain clarification on the pre-registration assessment with the GPHC. That's it from me today. Once again, thank you for your truly amazing work on the front, front line. I know it's not easy and it's extremely tough. And we are working hard to make sure you get the recognition and support that you deserve from the government. If you have any further ideas, suggestions or even issues you would like us to raise to government on your behalf, please contact the RPS support line or the RPS support email. Please stay safe and catch up with you.